I like doing exhibitions that are really accessible and interesting to as broad an uh, audience as possible. I want to do exhibitions that appeal to people who don't necessarily go to art shows. So for me, mushrooms was a great typical subject for me that appealed to people interested in anything from philosophy to design, skateboarding graphics to sculpture. I wanted to keep it as broad as possible. People who wouldn't necessarily go into a show would be like, oh, I want to learn more about a mushroom. Beatrix Potter was doing mushroom illustrations from a scientific interest. She was an amateur botanist. She did 300 paintings, watercolors, stunningly beautiful, um, and even wrote a paper on fungi. And it was that that she was exploring before she began to write Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck and all the books that we know her for best. So I think it really shows that those books, in the same way as the exhibition, were a way of getting people to look at nature in a different context. I think mushrooms have become a metaphor for, let's say, something poetic and otherworldly. And you could see that as psychedelic, but it's not just psychedelic. It's all about, it could also be seen wider way as the spiritual or the otherworldly or even the strangeness of nature. So I think a lot of people immediately think mushrooms and they think psychedelica. That's only one aspect to why mushrooms have become so fascinating to artists. Designers and scientists are really seriously exploring mycelium as a practical thing to rethink our relationship with materials and rethink how we're impacting on the world around us. Everything from biofuels to bricks, shoes to chairs, lighting, like things, alternatives to pesticides. There's an amazing amount of ways that mycelium can be applied in a positive way for our engagement with the world around us.